Yeah. All right, all right. We're here with uh, Adam. Get, Adam and Scott Williamson. All right. What was that again? Uh, Scott Williamson. Scott Williamson. All right. So tell me, uh, what are you guys doing? What are you guys uh, doing on the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail? <laughs> We're currently trying to break the 66-day, seven-hour, 16-minute uh, supported speed record for the trail. That is a record held by an ultramarathon runner who ran the trail in 2005 with a vehicle support team following him and started in Mexico and went all the way to Canada and did it in that time. Our goal on this trip is to do the same trip essentially, but we're hiking the trail as backpackers without any outside assistance. Um, so we're doing the trail in, in, in a manner that a traditional through hiker would do the trail and we have our backpacks, we're self-contained, and we resupply in towns along the way with uh, pre-packed boxes of food that we have sent to ourselves. Uh, in addition to all of that, we've also set the goal of not riding in a vehicle for the entire duration of the hike. So any of the trail towns that are off trail that we have to get to, we actually have to walk into the town, walk back out, which actually adds to our challenge. So tell me some of the challenges you guys both face on the trail. Uh, heat, snow in the Sierras, uh, river crossings, um, wild animals, bears. We've had rodents dancing around us at night when we're trying to sleep. Um, long days on our feet. Uh, it's in a lot of ways kind of a war of attrition. You're trying to be very consistent on a daily basis to save yourself and not overextend yourself physically. And how many miles are you guys traveling each day? So far we're, we're up around 40. Yesterday in the 10 day mark, which was yesterday at noon, So how long is the uh, total trail? 2,655 miles. And that runs from Mexico to Canada, right? That's correct. So tell me, why are you guys uh, trying to break the record? This is, what, your third time now or second? Uh, last summer, I, I, with a friend of mine, Joe Kisner and I, we broke the unassisted record, which previously was 79 days, and we did it in 71 days and some change. Absolutely, I agree with that 100%. Um, last year, um, my girlfriend ran into Scott in uh, Trader Joe's parking lot in Reno, and I heard that he was taking off with Tattoo Joe last year to attempt the speed record, and I decided to try the same thing, kind of unannounced. I didn't want to talk real big and not deliver, so I got on trail about 12 days behind them and was making good pace. Unfortunately, got sick. Um, to have the ability to come out with Scott this year, the minute I heard that he wanted to attempt David's record, I was very keen and interested in it. And um, adding in the not riding in vehicles the whole way was very interesting to me as well because, in, in essence, our feet never leave the earth the whole way. That's kind of cool. And, and in a way, I think that backpacking in this fashion is kind of a new sport that not a lot of people may know about. So to have the opportunity to kind of help define it and maybe set a new standard in it, it it's kind of cool. It's like you're taking part in history. How, uh, what's the diet like for someone out there? You see you're eating pizza here, but what's it like out there? <laughs> a lot of dried beans, uh, chips, salsa, a lot of dried fruit, um, electrolytes, a lot of electrolyte drinks here in the desert. 
um, vitamins. Um, definitely, I would say both Scott and my approach is that the quality of food that we put in is going to allow us to do what we need to do on a daily basis. So we're not eating a lot of sugar-laden junk foods or highly processed foods. Now, if we're here in Aguadulce, that's really barely into the hike still, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, about how far into the hike is, is Aguadulce? Uh, 454.4. I knew it was somewhere in that range. So it's it's roughly right now we're roughly one uh, sixth of the total. Wow. So the hardest is really yet to come. The de it was hard today. <laughs> yeah. The heat. Today was today was our first really hot day. It was difficult, uh, especially for me because I live in a place where it rarely snowing in my house when I left. Really? Where, where are you from originally? Uh, well, I'm currently living in Truckee, California. Okay. Uh, up near Lake Tahoe, so. Wow, totally different environment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Well, I want to thank you both for taking the time here, getting the word out on the PCT. It's, uh, it's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.